With no choice but to acquiesce to Sorcelay's demands. Hello, everyone. House Wolf RPG Kim can hear back with more Trangle Sedgy. Contraband salt and sets off across their own homeland in disguise. Through benighted forests and desolate mountains, yeah. they forge. I raised the volume up a little bit on the. Staving off the assault game, of so out bandits up a and bit. finally reaching Esfrost. Upon in this video, we are now on. We're making our way through the Golden Pass, and now I'm showing you guys black, what we need to do that's been different. Yet another skirmish. The Wolfort steal themselves for combat. However, the warriors lower their weapons. Through the mists, an unexpected figure appears. Sparog Esfrost, Lord of Twinsgate and Keeper of his country's borders. Beneath a Fridge Sky, Chapter 10, Part 1. This is quite the development. My very uncle buying salt outside of the consortium's purview. The lion's share of the surprise is mine, I assure you. The lion's share. Who would be aiding me in this illicit endeavor but the noble Warforts? Circumstances have caused us to set aside pride for the sake of survival. Of course, I understand. Oft we must travel the only road available to us. And what road has brought you here, uncle? I cannot imagine you have come with Gustadolf's blessing. What road indeed? My own circumstances have caused me to look outside my humble station, to find the means I require. The reckoning is at hand, and I must needs be ready for it. Hmm. To that end, I must ask. And pray do not waste my time with mistruths. Do you know who murdered my son? No. I'm sorry. I see. Gustadoff would have me believe that an agent of Glenbrook dealt the fatal blow. That's impossible. Is it? You speak as if you were there, Frederica. She was. As was I. We were with Dragan during his... During his final moments. You were. And yet, you do not know who killed him. I will ask once more. And once more only. Who murdered my son? We were the only representatives from Glenbrook at the mines that day. The arrow that killed your son was loosed by an Estfrosty soldier. We were attacked and fought back the assault, but they did not flee without a parting gift. Hmm. Your story is convenient, but that alone is no reason to discount it. Besides, it does offer an interesting perspective on the matter. Let us say you have the truth of the matter. That would mean... Gustadov has been lying through his teeth. That would come as a shock to many, I'm sure. Regardless, nightfall is come. Camp within our gates tonight. Do you believe us? What is there to believe? This meeting never occurred. Uh -huh. Follow me. Scales of conviction time. All right. I probably just might, depends on how long this is, I might just breach through this. And such, we'll see. So, that's how it went, eh? Glad you came back to us with your head on your shoulders. Given the lies he's been fed, it couldn't have been easy for Sparog to keep his composure. Still, it will be no easy task to assuage his doubts. I fear it may not be long until he gives into his desire for revenge, justified or not. Perhaps. 
But I very much had the sense that his opinion of Gustadolf was less than favorable. So long as we share the same enemy, there's a chance to build faith between us. I had the same intuition. Would that we could lend weight to our claims. There must be something that can sway him. Perhaps a secret will suffice. We have one of great value to the right person. Huh? What are you on about? No. You can't mean... What? <laughs> None would rather see the Archduke laid low more than I. As Farag knew I still lived, we might find common cause. With the Prince of Glenbrook behind him, his opposition would be justified. The enemy of our enemy, eh? Wish we had more than a feeling to go on. Once this secret is revealed, there will be no turning back. It is a gamble, yes. However, this may be our best and only option to gain support from within Esfrost. There is much to consider. I would hear everyone's thoughts on the matter. Do we keep Roland's secret our secret? Or do we trade it for a potential ally? Lord Zavrod's trust or Roland's safety. I must be careful not to reveal anything when deliberating with the others. Perhaps I can gain some insight from the soldiers outside. So for this one, this is our next thing that we need to do that's new. For this one, we have to reveal his identity to, um, to Savrog. So we'll need to reveal his identity. Kind of sucks that, again, it's another one that goes against Frederica. Here's what I think. I know Sarvok's not in Gustav's corner, but he's asked Frosty all the same. Can't see him as anything else. Really think we can trust him? I'm not ready to deliberate yet. Are you hanging out, my lord? Lord Sarvok was concerned before late for a week when the arch to convey Glenbrook. Seer unharmed has put both him and us soldiers at ease. My inquiry is what brought Lady Frederica and her new house all the way to the Twins' gate. Ask you instead why is Lord Sarah engaged such dealings? Journey to protect both our house and people, that's all. And honestly, that's the one I would have picked. I surmise such a bold answer means you have nothing to hide, Lord Saranoa. I'm beginning to feel like this is more of an interrogation than an innocent questioning. No, sir. My sincerest apologies if I made you feel such. If you truly wish for an answer, ask Lord Savrog himself. I shan't be responding in his stead. But of course. Will you be returned, my lord? No. Ah, we were just here not too long ago. Battering through the bullshit. Archduke Gustav had Lord Savar sent all the way out here to Twins Gate. Soldiers like us were likewise forced to the boards alongside him because of that bad blood. Seems the Duchy's not a, as united as I expected. Lord Savar was overrun with grief when he heard his son's murder. Archduke said it was all a plot by Grenbrook to seize control of the Grand Norzellian mines. I would not be surprised Lord Savar begrudged the royal family because of it. Gustav claimed that it was Queen Ragna who gave the order to have Lord Dragon slain. But what we saw in that mines that day proves otherwise. How could we get Lord Stravrov to believe us? Whatever our paths, we must tread carefully. The matter of his son's death is a sensitive one. And it may say it cost us our lives. Okay, let's go back here. Seriously, you can't climb up here. 
<sighs> I hate this map. Most of the soldiers stationed here at Twins Gates have worked with Lord Savrog for years. As such, we trust his judgment. No harm will befall you as long as you have his permission to be here, no matter the reason. Mask man with he bears a strange resemblance to the famous Sir Maxwell. Though he may be a rival of the Dutch, I respect him deeply as a fellow warrior. But he gives off a much younger air than I thought he would. Uh, amiable, isn't it? Sir Maxwell takes great care of his appearance than one might think. Sir Maxwell hides all he can from his enemies, his age included. As a warrior, he, m he would be loath to let others use anything against him. Sir Maxwell is younger than you might think, since it's about as well. It would be wise to treat him with to treat him as an old man. This one. But if he cares so much for his appearance, why is he hiding behind a mask? That is because he wishes not to expose his enemies to any unsightly visage he might show upon defeat. I see, so he's a sign of respect to any who would best him bow. Don Spears, both a gentleman and a soldier. I'd always admire Sir Maxwell, but you give, have given me new profound respect for him. For that, I thank you. Our struggle tells us to announce your visit to the Archduke. Such an edict means he doesn't want others to find out what's happening here. Suspicious, to say the least. Alright, we got all our stuff, so. Let me talk to everyone, so. Let us convince the people that don't want to share his identity to share his identity. All right, I already talked to you, so... Tell me, lad, why you think we should be revealing that our dear Prince Roland's alive? We had no choice if we should convince Lord Sagron that we had not to do with the son's death. Are you joking? A man's suspicions run deep. There's a chance he won't trust in us, even if we do reveal Prince Roland's identity to him. Not only did Savrock not believe us, lad, he accused us of murdering his son. That's no small stain upon us. I want to clear our names as much as you, but we just can't run headlong through this problem. My head aches. I wish there were a clear answer here. And so? I reckon Lord needs a keen eye for a man's character. So how do you see Savrog, lad? He's an ambitious man with no love for the Archduke, and a father consumed by grief despite desperate to avenge his son. You're onto something. But if I didn't know about it, I'd swear you could read minds. I size them up exactly the same. The hatred he feels towards his boy's murderers treat threatens to eat him alive. If we proved to him it was Gustav, well I reckon he raised a rebellion tomorrow. Which makes it worth the wager if you ask I've me. I've made up my mind. Against all odds, I think I might finally see a way out of this. I kinda of forgot to save beforehand, but yeah, well, having one although I feel like he's definitely gonna he'll be the one he will uh side with us. The risk of Prince Roland's secret being revealed grows greater with every telling of it. We have only just succeeded in feigning his death. It would be foolish for us to reveal the truth of it too soon. Do you truly think the worth the risk to reveal that Prince Roland lives? He wants justice for Lord Dragan, as does Lord Savrong. Showing him that Roland lives may convince him that we had no part to play in his son's murder. Hmm. True, in the absence of more concrete evidence, Maybe Prince Roland's identity may be our only hope. The risks still weigh on me, but I see now that we stand to both earn Lord Savron's trust and avenge Lord Dragon by do doing so. Might I speak with you further to clarify my own thoughts on the matter? And. How do you see Lord Savrog? This is over without Gustav and with the... It's someone who holds bo old boundless ambition that requires a cause around to which rally, cause I believe we can provide. I wonder about that. But suppose he does not truly wish to oppose the Archduke. Perhaps he has set his sights on a smaller prize? 
My mother saw around just as soon as Prince Verona and delivered him to Archduke Gustav himself. No, I cannot abide revealing our closely guarded secrets to anyone from Asfrost. It's too dangerous. Thank you. This talk brought me clarity at last. Yeah. I feel like I shouldn't have said that one. I think the top one would have been the better one for that one. Saranoa. I think it would be possible to convince my uncle without revealing Prince Roland's identity. Is there a reason his identity must be revealed? I honestly don't know how I do not have it, but whatever. Uh, we will fight. Restoring House will take precedence over the prince's secret. Please remember why we're on Dolan the mask in the first place. I see. My uncle's not a man who would go back on his word. If we tell him the truth, perhaps he will understand. But... However, if my brother, if Gustav were to find out Prince Roland's life will be in danger, perhaps it would be best to exercise caution for now. I need a moment to think. I'm sorry, but my heart still wavers on this matter. So, now what's your opinion on my uncle? A man bold enough to vie for power against Gustav. I do not believe he has the habit of, ca of casually revealing secrets. Surely. Yes, you can rally on my uncle to be discreet. He's also not to be spout lies. I know without a doubt that he holds great um, animosity towards the Archduke. We can show that our objectives are aligned. He may very well choose to fight alongside us. I pray she understands why I stand. Well, she was moved by your words, so. If any Prince Roland's identity may win Lord Saranoa's cooperation, but at what cost? Lord Saranoa. I have yet to arrive at a decision. What are your thoughts, Lord Saranoa? So you would reveal Prince Roland's identity? Ah, uh, on our side, we are Sword Wolf War. I believe securing his cooperation would be worth the risk. There's nothing else with which to bargain. Revealing his identity may be our best move. Archdukes, he may aid us if we prove that Indeed. we did not murder them. And you believe earning his trust is worth revealing our closely held secret. Lord Savrog observes over the truth behind, obsesses to grounds death. Perhaps he seeks revenge. In which case, our aims would be aligned, making this risk worth taking. I see that we may need to be bold if we wish to bet our situation. Thank you for your counsel. Alright, let's do this. It is time to cast our votes. Do we reveal that it is Roland behind the mask, or do we keep his identity a secret? Approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready. I wholeheartedly agree. You swayed me, Serena. Let's see if Prince Roland's secrets can earn us my uncle's trust. Well, we got one. I agree. I believe in you, Lord Serena. Well, we got it. I cannot be swayed. Yeah, I didn't think I got you. You won me over. Scales of conviction will illuminate the path we've chosen. The way forward is decided. The only way to win Svarog's trust is to reveal Roland's identity and begin negotiations. It is decided. Svarog shall know the truth of Roland's identity. Benedict, I would ask that you arrange an audience as quickly as possible. Of course, my lord. All right, well, we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going.
Prince Roland of Glenbrook lives. It is a powerful secret that could sway the decisions of the other nations. Knowing this, House Wolfort asks for an audience with Svarog in hopes of divulging that very information and gaining his trust. A treacherous soul. You must have something of import to tell me. Whatever it is, know that my guard stays. There is something we wish to show you, Lord Svarog, in hopes of earning your trust. <sighs> Prince Roland? They said you perished. Indeed they did. And the rumors will stay that way as long as Gustadolf draws breath. Surely you understand the meaning of this revelation. Indeed I do. Give me time to think it over. Hmm. More investigating. Okay, well, we got a thing up there. Anywhere else? Nope, okay. Constable, a bird has arrived from our spy at Twinsgate. Uh oh. I've discovered a secret ledger in Sfarag's quarters. An unscheduled merchant company has arrived. Cargo uncertain. I shall continue my investigation. It may be an illicit shipment of salt. If we can get our hands on both the salt and the ledger, we can expose their crimes. But we cannot be sure of that just yet, sir. Perhaps we should wait for the next report. No. If we simply sit still, we may lose our only chance of getting that evidence. But Lord Svarog is a powerful man. Even our own formidable forces cannot afford to make a mistake. And it is precisely because he is so powerful that we cannot let these misdeeds go unpunished. I shall assume responsibility for whatever happens. Now, we make for Twinsgate. Yes, sir. Late that night. Leave us. Yes, sir. My apologies for summoning you at this hour. I see now the resolve of House Wolfort. I think it best we both speak frankly. We have decided to stand against Gustadolf. Just as you have. I. The only reason I purchase illicit salt is to amass the power I need to oppose the Archduke. Gustadolf pursues his ideals and his alone. He even curtailed the might of my house as if we were not family. I see. That explains Lord Dragan's efforts at the mines. I remember Lord Dragan's words. The future is in the hands of the ardent youth. Aye. He was off to say that. He was always asking how long I intended to leave Gustadov to his own devices. But just who would kill my boy? And why? As we said, we unfortunately do not know who did it. But neither Glenbrook nor Woolfort stood to gain anything from his death. Even if there were something to be gained, 
we would not have acted without preparing for retaliation. But, as you can see from the current state of Glenbrook, the capital was easily taken while merrymaking over the mines. A fair point. But there is someone who could use your son's death for his own purposes. To put the crown within his reach. Gustadolf. You there! Explain yourself! We found this man eavesdropping on your conversation. You're the guard from earlier. A spy! He knows who I am. We should Lovely. give chase. Huet, alert the others. There he is! I just had a feeling it was gonna end up being him. You won't get away! That's a lot of blood. Dead. I wonder who he was working for. My apologies. This was the only way to stop him for sure. You needn't apologize, Huet. Benedict and the others are investigating the spy. I should see if they've managed to uncover anything. The spy may have been sent by Asfra's own constabulary. The spy was pierced through by an arrow. There's no way of gaining information from him now. I'm pretty sure the fall is probably what killed them more so than the arrow. It is concerning to think of how much information the spy had. With him gone, though, there is a chance of his master will show to find out why their correspondence has stopped. We must prepare for battle, my lord. If that spy were still alive, we might have been able to get valuable information out of him. But he was struck down by my own hands, no less. Fast than the most, he would. They served us well in the mines that day, too. Our lives would have been forfeited had anyone learned of our illicit dealings on Roland's identity. Do not dis doubt your decision now, Hewitt. Save Roland by preventing his secret from getting out. Just... Just as any... Ah! Liberty. This one, this one was a good one. Were not for you, the enemy would have slipped through our grasp. You need to doubt yourself so, Hewitt. But I failed to protect Lord Dragon. As did we all. It's not your burden to bear alone. We must learn and grow from our regrets of our past together. You are right, Lord Serenoa. I shall take your words to heart. Being caught trading this assault is one thing, but... If Prince Roland's identity is discovered, everything we have done will be for naught. Lord Sauron's soldiers are in search of any other spies that might be lurking around. Oh shit, what was that? I think it was something about secrets. Or it could have been this. Go too fast. Salt and meat. This is dropped by spy. Oh, from Bubba Bell. Witness Bubba believed to be Bubba at Bubba and Bubba. Additionally, Bubba arrived in Bubba. Bubba uncertain will continue investigation. I managed to keep the truth of my identity from spreading, but at the cost of a man's life. 
And I will hear it did what needed to be done. I cannot help but feel vexed about this situation. This is all my fault. Well, yes and no. So yeah, the, the thing is too is like, so we have these investigations in New Game Plus. And if it's in an area you've already been to, there'll be no items to pick up. Unless it's like you've forgotten to pick them up. So I find that to be a little weird, but at the same time I somewhat get, but I still find it a bit weird. It was truly unfortunate timing to be overheard when revealing the prince's identity. I wonder if that spy was here to investigate Dylan's assault trade. Yeah, that was probably the reason it was he was here. But then he was also there for him, so. It was my job to prevent suspicious person from entering Twins Gate. What failure I am. Alright, we're done. It looks like our secret is safe for now. But we must be even more prudent going forward. Alrighty. Well, time for another battle. You there, don't move. Lord Sarah Noah, what are you doing here? Sir Sikris. Constable, one of ours has been found dead. How unfortunate. I shall be taking you lot in for questioning. Throw down your weapons. You there, remove your mask. <clears throat> I am sorry, but we cannot comply. Then you leave me no choice but to have you all arrested. These people are my guests. I will not tolerate such disrespect, even from you, Sikris. I received a report of suspicious movement in the area. It seems the report was correct. I will have to investigate Twinsgate inside and out. I know not who raised the issue, but that makes it no less dire. I shall have the investigation myself. I simply cannot allow it. This responsibility was given to me by the Archduke himself. You dog! Did the Archduke also deem me unworthy of your trust? C Constable! Do not falter, men! We shall enter Twins Gate by force if we must! Decimate the enemy foes. Decimate, and Svalg can't die, okay. Uh, recommend archers? Uh, I might do that, okay. No, I'm not bringing him in here. They're probably gonna be strong against ice. I'm on it. Time for a bruising. Excellent. God, I wish I could have 12. Then I would have... Then I would bring him along. I also want to bring her in battle, too. I've yet to see her in battle. <laughs> no, it's funny. Like, we're now battling on the inside of the gates. Well, last time it was the outside of the gates. So that's kind of funny. Ba, 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 ba. 
I take orders from no one. Now stand down. Advance, men. We are within our rights to know the truth. That would spell the end of House Wolfort. They leave us no choice but to fight. I see you're keen as always, Sikris. I'd hoped we wouldn't have to fight like this. Yeah, so Rudolph was actually with Sigris. Like, they were working together. And Rudolph was, like, here as, like, a spy for him to, like, pay off a debt type thing. But it's like, oh, yeah, you, you're a part of your crimes, but you also have to be expelled, so. Stand with Lord Svarog. Let no man through. I will end this. My duty shall be done. I won't lose! This battle is ours! is not an option. Ready for battle. What's Bullseye do? The applicable damage to single enemy is technically guaranteed. It. Okay. To work. Again, Sikris. But I can't say I'm happy about it. Agreed. I had hoped you'd become an honest man, Rudolph. We got our reasons. Not that I'd expect a straight-laced man like you to understand them. I like that. I like that depending on who you have in your battle with. Battle with you, they have talks. Allow me. You're not getting away. You're not getting Absolutely away. wonderful. My turn. Truly wonderful. Wonderful. <laughs> Deadly blaze. Okay, let's see it. I will leave you defenseless. Let me heal your wounds. So if I'm honest, I, I should have, um... I can't lose! Uh, I should have done I'm that on the this, Frederica. other dude. I never suspected a spy in our midst. If our illicit trading is brought to light, everything will have been for naught. For now, let us concentrate on the battle before us. I never thought I would receive a scolding from you, Frederica. <laughs> you have truly grown. Lord Zvarog, allow me to repay my debt to you here and now. I never thought I would see the day we fought side by side like this. I eagerly anticipate seeing your prowess in battle. Again, this is very interesting to I like fight for peace. have this, you know, have these um I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait because it gets more powerful with each TP you have, so... Oh, I don't have Benedict. I was like, and I could do that. It was like, I have Frederica go, and then I just use Benedict's now move, but I don't have that, so... Are you in need? My turn. Did you see that? 
My duty shall be done. Defeat is not an option. That hit the mark. shall prevail. I'm behind you. I appreciate it. Uh. We doing this? We doing this? Come on! That's it! I can't lose! If worse should come to worst, you must leave. We cannot allow things to end here. Warrock. Gustadolf is undoubtedly scheming something. He must not be left to his own devices. Understood. But first, we rout Secrets' forces. I fight for peace. fruit my duty shall be done let's do now freeze your last on it point me at him God damn it. Stay painful. God damn it. Your orders? Take it. Kindly. Forward march. To work. Lose. I have failed. I shall do what I can. God damn it. Victory goes to the place. Ah, reminds me of my youth. A waste of effort. The flames consume you. Well, it's again three of them. We will make our ideal reality. Ah! No need to panic. Time to end this. Are you in need? I won't stand for it. Give me strength. My duty shall be done. Time to take flight. to my last breath. Time to work. It's 
over. I feel stronger already. Attack! Ready for battle. Oh yeah. None will stand in my way. Let's not really good. I have four archers. I'll send you How about that? More. <laughs> we will make our ideals. Actually, I think we have five. So it falls to me. Allow me. Time to end this. Shall we begin? I'm behind you. Thank you. One step closer to our hope. Let me show you what I've learned. At your command. So it falls to me. Not even Hells Wolford is above the law. You will tell us the truth behind your presence here. Arrest them all. Seize them! <sighs> what is the advance party doing? Sparark must be stopped. Great. I will leave you to This battle is ours. Nine. It hit. Opportunity. God damn it. Let's go then. I'll send you fly. Hurts, eh? None will stand in my way. <clears throat> when did I get so old? When did I get so old? I saw through that goddess dick with years <laughs> wisdom. Damn it. We withdraw for now. I will end this. Stay right at work. Shall we begin? I'm behind you. I appreciate it. What's this? Five more, okay. We got this. Are you in need? Out of my way! Your orders? I am at your back one. Well. Hey, painful, wasn't it? Time to take flight. Yeah. Just ready it. for battle. Your Taste my sword. shield. I'm better than ever. Ready. None will stand in my way. Won't be that easy, will it? Saw that. I'm only getting started. Let me show you what I've learned. I shall do what I can.
my turn. Allow me. Allow me. My time has come. Yeah, that I can well. breathe. My work bears fruit. Here I come. This ends now! Point me at him! Perfect opportunity! Let's go then. I'll handle this. I am at your back. Let me show you what I've learned. Let me heal your wounds. I'm behind you. Ah, that feels good. Now then. Ah. Your orders? At your command. Yeah. You win. The hunt is on. I am in that one. Well. Point me at him. Yeah. Painful, wasn't it? I can't lose. Let the flames fly. Yeah, we did it. We they are at. I just realized I didn't buy any of the. Uh, no, did I buy any of them? I don't think I did. Hmm. Oh well. Sikris. Some unfortunate news has just come to my attention. It appears the soldier over there was illegally selling our fortress's resources. He might be the man you were looking for. Take him with you for questioning. What do you expect me to glean from a corpse? More than you think. Dragan has taught me plenty. Hmm. This transgression was born of my negligence. Give the Archduke my sincerest apologies. Understood, Sikris? Yes, sir. Let us ensure that such misdeeds do not happen again. Anything else? Around the sea, searches for specs, saving household words, falls the reason behind his actions. Thank you for your help earlier. Think nothing of it. We walk the same path now. And together. We shall bring down Gustadolf. It seems we've managed to dispel any doubts you had in us. I do not know what happened in the mines that day. But your words and Gustadolf's do not align. And I cannot bring myself to believe that Gustadolf did not have a hand in Dragan's death. He has always been willing to do whatever necessary to see his ambitions through. Indeed. We've investigated the spy's quarters. It appears he was working for Sikris. And his forces are directly under the Archduke's command. Meaning the man behind the curtain is without a doubt, Gustadolf. This may be yet another ploy to destroy me. Just like my son's murder. Ordragan was vital in our plans for peace. Yet he did not bother to hide his ambition before Gustadolf. Perhaps he inherited that senseless pride from me, the child of a concubine. 
What a fool I am, bringing death upon my own son. Uncle. But no matter how I despair, my son will not return. So I must fulfill his wishes in his stead. Agreed. I must defeat Gustathal for my family. I shall fight by your side. Take this as repayment for the cargo. This is far too much, Lord Svarog. The remainder is for your army. Use it when the time comes. We cannot thank you enough. Holy moly! Holy cow! These tough times are not over yet. We could not win against Gustadolf if we fought him now. Indeed. But if we can learn about what he's plotting, we may stand a chance. I will continue to be vigilant. May our houses grow ever stronger until then. A treacherous soul. Alrighty, um, that's the... Uh... Hmm. I just want to see what's going to happen next. Let's just see what happens next. Serenoa delivers the salt to Svarog, a powerful minister of Esfrost who secretly wishes for Gustadolf's defeat. After learning of Roland's identity, Svarog swears to fight beside House Wolfort to bring down their common enemy. Gustadolf's power grows greater by the day, but House Wolfort is not idle in the meantime. They look to strengthen their own forces, slowly but surely. After seeing the illicit salt to Esfrost, Serenoa makes haste to Hyzant. The Holy One has invited both them and Sorcelay End to the palace. The voice that calls us. Oh, it's still chapter 10, so... This is technically new. Serenor Wolfort. We are pleased to have you in the capital. Well met. Are you attendant to the Holy One? I do have that honor, yes. I am afraid preparations for your audience are still underway. Pray wait a while longer. Very okay, well. Then. There is no rush. Your patience is appreciated. We shall find you once we are ready. We should take this chance to see the city. We still do not know why we were summoned. Rumors, fickle as they may be, may help us steel ourselves for what is ahead. Okay. Somehow, I doubt that the commoners are privy to the thoughts of the goddess. Still, it would do us well to acquaint ourselves with her subjects. For the sake of our budding relationship with Hyzant, if nothing else. I agree. Then shall we split up to cover the most ground? I have a mind to visit the source. As you wish. Once we have finished, let us return here to share what we have learned. Obviously, this is going to be different because. This country is quite pleasant, isn't it? Not a dour face in sight. Quite the opposite, in fact. To see their smiles, you would think that inequity, envy, and jealousy were things of fairy tales. A well-governed populace is a happy populace. Or so they say. Just an example we could learn from, methinks. Methinks. 
If I may speak plainly, I find it somewhat unsettling. Unsettling? How so? Smiles do not always show joy. Is it truly possible to sate the wishes of every woman and man? Are you implying something nefarious is behind all this? Not necessarily. However, I was taught that for every laugh, somewhere a tear is shed. This country was not built without its share of sacrifice. Of that, I am certain. I understand your hesitation, Anna. I mean, you have the whole but fucking source, but... Unfounded. The country who oh, cares the for citizens is cared for in turn. It needn't be any more complex than that. So, did you discover art of value? We did. The rumor on everyone's lips is that Minister Sorsley has brought House Wolfort to heal. <sighs> News travels faster than I would expect. That may very well be the reason for our audience. If so, then the time may soon be upon us to decide if we are loyal to Hyzant or otherwise. I will wander the city a little longer. I shall return soon. It's as we feared, milady. None but Hyzantians can enter the source. I see. I would have liked to see where my mother was raised, and where she spent her final days. Her final days? She died here? Many years ago. I know little else of the circumstances of her passing. I thought she escaped this thrice forsaken place. She did. She fled during the chaos of a Rosellan uprising in the midst of the Salt Iron War. It was then that she met my father, the former Archduke. And from their union, I was born, a daughter of Esfrost. Then how'd she... No. Was she captured? In a way, yes. Esfrost was forced to surrender her, or take responsibility for the war's outbreak. And then... well... What a damned farce. I was lonely and heartbroken, but the pendant she left me shone the way through my darkest days. Can't tell you how sorry I am. And dark days there were. A lot, because her siblings are assholes. Your stuff is not as bad, but he's still an asshole. That she was able to ignore her detractors speaks to the strength of her character. That she excelled in her studies does even more so. You flatter me, Gila. I would never presume to do such a thing. My lord, I kept your better half safe for you. Thank you, Eridor. Did you learn aught of interest? We did. It seems all members of the Saintly Seven have gathered at the palace. All of them? Could that have something to do with us? Perhaps, though it certainly bodes ill. In any case, it is clear that we are expected to honor the Hierophant's request for an audience. Demand may be a better word to use. Then perhaps we should return before the attendant comes to seek us out. We got a couple things. I have one there. Do we have any other one? Nope. Okay. House Wolford has not a single heroic deed to their name, yet the Hierophant grants them audience as if they are worthy to stand by my side before the Holy One. What is the meaning of this? Perhaps there is no need to take offense. Perhaps you are being honored. You did bring a formidable ally into the flock, after all. That is a curious interpretation. 
<laughs> the others in the Order are breathless with jealousy at your achievement. They have spoke of naught else since the news arrived. Twas no great feat. The Wolfhorse were lost, sniveling, begging for a hand to guide them. The others needn't know that, however. Soon you will have the ear of the goddess. You will be the envy of Hyzant. It is well past time for that decrepit Edor to relinquish his position. The future belongs to House End. At last. I shall see that you have a place in it, Denebris. What a gullible fool. Alrighty, let's see what this is about then. Yay! Politics with the Nazis. I, Sorsley End, have brought Serenoa Wolfort to answer the summons of the Holy One. Very good. Then let us begin forthwith. In the name of the Holy One and the Goddess, I shall begin her inquiry into the misappropriation of our nation's salt. Huh? An inquiry? Serenoa Wolfort shall be questioned first. Sorsley End stands accused of forsaking the Goddess's blessing, of abusing his station to indulge his own insatiable appetites. You, Serenoa Wolfort, stand accused of aiding his plot, of sullying your own hands by transporting his ill-begotten wares. I stand accused? On what grounds, Edor? Minister Sorsley, I would advise you to temper your words in the presence of the Holy One. You would dare chastise me? For generations, the Goddess has entrusted House End with her salt. The lifeblood of our nation. I have treated my duty only with the utmost respect. Just hearing these outrageous charges makes my stomach churn. Really? Then I shudder to imagine your condition whilst you pen these ledgers, delivered to us by one of the soldiers from the source. What's this? What's this? <gasps> I thought the numbers were quite odd, and when I compared them to the ledger at headquarters, I quickly understood why. Forgive me, Minister oh, Sorsley. Staying why? silent would have meant my death. Your death? How swiftly your underlings betray you under the slightest pressure. Now, if you are very well finished, let us continue. Lord Serenoa, did you aid Sorsley in these crimes? Answer with the understanding that falsehoods will be treated as affronts to the Goddess's mercy and punished accordingly. Yeah, we did. I understand. It is true. We helped Sorsley peddle his salt. Saranoa, you cur! <laughs> Well, please make him into an Alfred. Oh, I was actually about to make a little joke about like, you know, it'd be hilarious if they like just, they didn't like change his model at all, but he's like still laying down dead. And then you see the blood, you know, Hyzant, trail. I they did move his mall and they did make a blood trail. That's approach. hilarious. Be that as it may, the fact remains you bear some responsibility in allowing that rot to fester. Such misdeeds must be answered for. 
You should have come to us immediately upon finding out his true nature. You had Fuck ample you. opportunity. I admit the fault is ours, but it was not a judgment made lightly. We had to act to protect our home and our people. It was the only way to prevent the loss of both. And we had no way of convincing you guys otherwise. Fallen on deaf ears. However, a crime committed under duress is still a crime. Suck my For dick. That, I have no words. Only hope. Hope that you will find mercy for us. For my people, I beg of you. Allow our house to enter the protection of the Holy One. You love your subjects deeply, that is plain to see. Very well. I shall state your case to the Holy One on your behalf. Ah, oh, is that what you say? Oh, yes. Yes. Yes, you machine that has no soul and or no voice Sarah to tell no me Wolf, otherwise. Heed well the words of the Holy One. Your house safeguards the very heart of Norzelia, and the Wolfort name is known near and far for its fierceness in upholding its duty. The Holy One believes it would be a great loss if your home were to fall victim to Esfrost's ambition. The Saintly Seven has just recently bid farewell to one of its members. This position <laughs> would be yours if you would take it. My lord, this... However, there is the matter of the Roselle that dwell within your borders. The Holy One would see them returned to the flock where they belong. <laughs> Their home is in the Source, our Holy Land. They are descendants of criminals and worse. Their lot is to offer themselves to the goddess, so that the sins of their forebears may be cleansed. Fuck you. The Holy One would see all Roselle serve her in penitence, such as her will. You would have us betray the Roselle under our protection? Such mortal judgments are not her concern. The goddess has spoken. And I say, shove that up your ass! Saranoa, will you surrender the Roselle to Hyzant? I don't know. As you are doubtless aware, Lady Frederica, the vow of Lord Simon himself binds us to protect them. Alas, our house is not what it once was. Is that a reason to cast aside its honor? My father, as well, likely had a hand in orchestrating their protection. Ah, my friends. I apologize that we once again meet under dire circumstances. You face a difficult choice, one I do not envy. Have you decided? Not yet. We will, you can be sure. They've got us by the small ones, and they know it. They made this request full aware of our history. Lest you misunderstand, allow me to illuminate your position. You are not the noble hawks you think yourselves to be. You are vultures, feeding off the scraps of Sorcely's corpse. You've got some nerve. I speak from experience when I say that the title of saint is not to be worn lightly. Are you prepared? Prepared? For what? Doubtless you are aching to break free of your fetters, to take wing and soar. To do that, blood must be spilled. The blood of enemy friend and self alike. Your freedom lies at the end of a trail of dead. If you are not prepared to make that journey, to endure that sacrifice, then cast aside your pretensions and grovel. <sighs> grovel or bleed. Poor options both. The voice that calls us. All right, I think I'm gonna this now. Now this is the end of the game. Uh, not the end of the game. This is the end of the part right here because uh, we should be going into chapter eleven now. So we should be able be going into things that we've already done. So that's gonna do it for this part of Let's Play Triangle Strategy, guys. In the next part, we shall. 
Uh, I'll fast forward all the way to when it's time to pick our next thing, which is for us to go to uh, House Wolfort uh, when we get our three options there. And that should be the last thing for us to do. And then we'll be on our way to um, the true ending. So thank you all so much for watching this video. Guys, if you liked the video, please give that like button a click. And comment down below if you like about the video, didn't like about the video. And let me know, guys, what you think of this whole chapter. It's a very interesting chapter um, for sure. Uh, so, yeah. As always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both of my main Twitter, the RBG Kingdom Kid Twitter, are in there, too. Thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.